Hello, this is Lavender Lightworker. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. Either way, I had already started a collective reading for the Sagittarius Collective All Placements, and um, my phone died, so I'm leaving the cards here, and I'm going to continue where I left off. So this is for my Sagittarius Collective All Placements. Uh, we have a Sagittarius full moon tonight, um, so this is why I chose to do it for Sagittarius. All right, so Sagittarius, what is going on? Let's see. I feel like there's some anxiety or overthinking about a brand new start. What the hell is happening on my deck? Maybe you're fighting what feels good to you. You're you're fighting what would really make you happy. You're fighting a new beginning that would make you feel happy. Oh shit, Sagittarius. Yeah, you can see these cards. Okay, so I'm seeing there's some type of communication um, that someone's wanting to start some new new communication even if it's like someone you haven't talked to in a very very long time um even if it's just like hi <laughs> like, like like hi hello like it's it's like baby communication it's not even it's not even like adult communication i'm not trying to insult anyone i'm just saying that or maybe someone's trying to do this to you or maybe you and someone else are thinking about each other in that way um one of you wants the other one to say hi or or something like that um instead of just reaching out and having a full-blown adult a conversation this seems very immature with this page of wands but because it's like somebody's really nervous about what words might actually what what hi can turn into it can turn into a conversation about nine different thoughts or subjects and that gives them my I, anxiety um, they just really want to be happy someone just really wants to be happy with the nine of cups um, even if they want to have they, they miss that feeling that they used to have someone misses the feeling of that nine of cup energy they haven't felt it in a long time they can't stop thinking about it they're really wanting to reach out for communication, or you are. Cross watchers are welcome in this reading, um, all my readings. But someone's really nervous about either a them fighting to to let this happen, or that this will turn into a fight and and it'll end up breaking their heart all over again because something from the past is just not healed. Yeah. Somebody walked away, emotionally disconnected from someone, and let me see more. Yeah, someone emotionally disconnected from someone, somebody also rejected somebody, um, and because of that, they have anxiety about reaching out to say hi, because they, it's like the you know cycle of oh well, that person's going to reject me because I rejected them that insecure kind of emotional game okay so those wanted to flip over but they didn't come out so we're not going to tape them so they were okay so we have yeah someone's in nostalgia about the past the past that's either one or both parties ruined show me more hold on so what is my Sagittarius no okay that definitely flipped upside down there's an argument fighting pettiness is not going to be able to come forward okay so that's good that whatever fighting that is Someone's worried about happening. It's being blocked from coming forward. Um, someone maybe has learned how to stop being petty or stop arguing. They know how to uh, 
they know how to not like they I don't know maybe not be in their ego yeah something about ego anyway um and then I have the two of cups with that three hmm let me see more what's this first let me see what it is this three of swords someone's maybe thinking about leaving someone huh the Someone's not wanting to block something. What is this? It's like maybe someone has a partner um, and they're in a relationship, but they're missing this old connection for some reason. And they just want to speak to someone because they remember the good nostalgic, good times. Maybe they were even on the verge of, like the Nine of Cups is like right before marriage, but you know, just a very deep connection and someone's scared of rejection or fighting but it's almost like they would cut out this third party to get back with this per this person yeah they're not happy with this third party Sagittarius either you or someone is not happy and, and they're willing they're not yeah they're not happy and they're not gonna block show me more they're not gonna block whoa okay so that flipped over but then it went back in judgment means usually it means like um two people coming back together the angels stepping in and allowing this connection like a restart at it it flipped back over so i can't take it so that that's showing me that um this third party that might be the reason these people separated to begin with um uh it, they're not getting a second chance so there might this sagittarius might be having a breakup yeah someone's was lying or somebody's been someone's not happy someone's watching someone and wanting to communicate and someone's also cutting something out um but also not blocking so what is this two who's this two of cups what's this two of cups is this someone else feels like it to me shit okay all my cards are upright here damn yeah, it's not working. They're not happy. They want to take their cup of love somewhere else. Damn, Sagittarius. I was trying to do a fast reading. What are we on? And your shit got juicy. Just full moon type of shit. Okay, I want to know. What is this uh, chariot in reverse? Show me more. Please and thank you, ancestors of the bright, highest bright way. Light. Ooh. The sun. The tower. Chair in reverse. Clarify. Show me what. I need to see more about this tower. Okay, so someone had a sudden realization that they want to go back see look over here this person walked away disconnected from these look okay watch this someone disconnected from eight cups it took to someone a lot of eight cups of emotions love um intuition and said you know what i'm walking away from this right but then in the middle of this reading now someone's having anxiety because they went from eight cups to three cups and they don't want to even take this fourth cup that's coming it seems like it's angelic but they're like no I don't want it they have anxiety about it they want to reach out and talk about this they want they want to they want to go from the eight of cups to the nine of cups with someone from the past with that soul bond there was a there was a soulmate some someone felt like a soulmate and someone is having nostalgic memories about a soulmate from the past and it's haunting them it's haunting someone and so anyway back to that uh so i wanted to know what the chariot was because chariot is the car or, or just moving forward and it was showing this fighting and bullshit coming forward it's showing that fighting won't be coming forward because somebody well because somebody wants to be happy and they're they're basically realizing this that they're having a shocking realization that they they should have chose that cup back then because it's upside down like, 
they're they're realizing shit. I fucked up. I should have chose their cup. I'm now it's all messed up. And they're look and now they're at the end. I don't know if you can see this. I'm trying to take this cup. Okay, but I wanted to know what the tower was, and the tower was clarified by this eight of cups backwards, which was showing someone returning, trying one more time, indecision, fear of loss. Okay, so that's kind of juicy, and I want to actually get two more for this tower because Sagittarius, you guys got the tea. What is this? <laughs> Show me more about this tower. Yeah. Yep. Fucking serious? The tower with the tower? Yes, Sagittarius, someone has a sudden realization. Karma has come back around for someone. And they're now seeing that what what it really is and what it really isn't. Maybe during the situation that this was, maybe whether it was a year ago, six months ago, years ago, it doesn't matter. Um you know, people grow, people, some people change, doesn't mean you need to be back together with them, but somebody's coming to a sudden shocking realization that, and karma's come back around, and they're wanting to, they're, they're shocked that they're thinking about this connection, whoever this, that they were with, in the meantime, that was your placeholder, or you were their placeholder, or whatever, um, put it how it goes they're wanting to cut that out so what's the advice for here I'm going to use these cards now just because someone says hi the lovers somebody's this is so somebody says hi if this was a toxic relationship it does not mean you need to take them back oh wow <laughs> look what's at the bottom of the deck someone's obsessing about that they didn't choose you or you didn't choose them or that that or that they might that, that they just can't let it go so the lovers is about choice um someone's really wanting you to focus on them only them as as your lover as, your, as a partner they think they think uh you're very attractive or you think they're very attractive they they're very passionate about wanting <laughs> you to focus or their focus only on yes oh wow Sagittarius oh. yeah someone someone has had a realization and they'll wait forever they'll wait forever to get this connection back show me more they want they might even ask for a commitment someone might even want a commitment like the seven of cups is like no I'm focused on one not seven passion they're going to choose they'll wait they'll wait they, they're looking at things as a different perspective like maybe not full blown commitment but you know maybe you know just like some type of agreement because they realize I don't know I feel like this for the, the someone's known someone for a long time and they're looking at, at the past like, wow, all these years I've known this person and I just walked away from it or X, Y, Z, whoever that is for. And, and, and it's ending in this horrible, petty fight involving other people possibly. And look, and all they want to get back is to their nine of cups. And they want to make that choice. This is the advice make the choice he's this person is not look this this person is looking towards the happiness of the nine of cups after they walked away with the with the they're going to get over this they're looking at the happiness of the nine of cups and that's what they're going to choose not this heartbreak they're they're going to heal it and then the tower upside down that so the advice is to look and choose the happiness and what your deepest desires want and you can avoid this heartache and this 
This tower came out three fucking times. I gotta ask more questions. Hold on. Show me this tower upside down, please. Oh, the Empress and the Devil. I'm a devil. Good, good lord, y'all. What's going on? <sighs> so annoying. Right at the end of the reading, you start pumping juicy shit. I should have stopped there, but whatever. So, this person's going to make a choice to choose the nostalgia and the happiness of the nine of cups but obviously they need to heal and they don't they want to avoid this tower moment that as you see in the bottom is coming no matter what you can't stop the tower from happening because they're going to have this shocking revelation but right now they're in this nostalgia of all the good memories and all the love and this nine of cups but eventually this this pain of the three of wands is there you can't hide it and you know either way it's some <laughs> somebody is planning and planning and fearful at the same time under this full moon to make a very impulsive offer with someone they haven't healed with yet with some empress energy that they highly respect someone's someone's wanting to be impulsive under this moon what is this page of wands all together what are they scared to even talk about they're scared to talk about what someone doesn't know and how it's going to come up um like they want to just get back to oh let's let's be happy they miss some someone misses someone they just want to get back to let's be happy but they're they're, they're not acknowledging that, that the damage of leaving and rejection on both parts is there. And that's why this Nine of Swords is here. Because um, they're a little simple, hi, how are you? Let's just act like this didn't happen. And let's, let's ignore, let's try, let's ignore this pain and suffering and act like, let's not look at it. And then we, supposedly that'll avoid a tower moment is not true because no it's not and then the communication is someone's gonna the things that someone didn't know about they're you know they're not gonna be like oh oh it's been years since i've seen you everything went fucked up when we left <laughs> when we last when we left off with each other oh you missed me huh well i'm willing to talk with you but i have some questions and then they want you to stay in this energy um They're going to be overwhelmed and emotional to where they don't want to talk about what made them leave to begin with. And yeah, they don't want to talk about the past, what made them leave to begin with. They want to, they want to convince you that they're not a player no more. Um, they're ready to balance things out and they just want to be alone with you and they miss your kids or some shit like that alright this is all I'm going, doing because that's enough I think you guys get the picture any more show me one more yes there's going to be communication coming it might it's going to be unfortunately um, immature communication um, how will this end up? 
How would this end up? Which one of these decks? Let me see. How would this communication look? I see someone not wanting to talk to someone. Um, I'm seeing say less to be happy or don't talk to someone just to stay happy. Mm, there's a, a very special there's a very spiritual connection here. It's like, look, I'm seeing this this Eight of Wands, which is showing forward movement, and that Ten of Cups come out, which is weird, but it's like, even if someone doesn't talk, there's such a spiritual connection here that's forming, even though these people aren't talking anymore, that it's keeping them together. So what will happen when, if, if communication... It, the lovers. Again, a lovers on top of what will happen? Show me more, please. Let's see. Transformation. They don't want you to end. They don't want to end being your lover or your soulmate. They, 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 they're holding on. They don't want you to end it. They, they understand that things have transformed, but they're holding on. They're seeing you as an empress, a divine feminine. They don't want to, whatever that means to you, uh, gender neutral. They want you to choose. They don't. Yeah, they don't want you to end it. It's already ended. But there, it, you might need to cut cords from this person. Because it's obvious. It doesn't look like it's repairable to me, to be honest. But you never know. Is this repairable? Is this connection repairable? Oh, wow. Okay, three of wands. Is this connection repairable? Someone planning, waited to walk away. Mm, walk away again. Yeah, it's not repairable. It's not repairable. Well, on the bottom of the deck, we have the magician. Um, so, well, someone's going to try to manifest that rejection and emotions and their, that immature communication and watching you, watching your, there, someone's watching YouTubes or watching your social media, and it makes them happy to watch you, they want to talk to you, they're manifesting, they know your worth now, they're manifesting, working it out, they want to be your counterpart, but they, they haven't healed, they don't even know how to heal, but and they're just super focused on you and they won't let they they're, they think if they avoid all the secrets coming out or if they let some secrets come out if they can avoid this tower moment from happening but that that involves them lying and that it's not going to work out yeah it's not going to work out sorry bye Felipe you had your turn they walked away. How many fucking times? You know? Come on. I'm done. They, they walked away. Huh? She means